If you're familiar with the NFL in the US, you might also be familiar with the newly created AAF, the Alliance of American Football, which has just been formed as an alternative to the NFL which sees play during the NFL offseason. Pair this together with the expected return of the XFL, another prospective football league, and you have an exciting time for watching new teams and leagues developing right before our eyes. But since we focus on hockey at this channel, let's take a look at the last time a new pro hockey league tried to spring up from the NHL shadow. From 1972 to 1979, the World Hockey Association was a pro hockey league that competed with the NHL, until it actually merged with the NHL in 1979. The old WHA had left its legacy by introducing new NHL teams such as the Winnipeg Jets, the Quebec Nordiques, and the Edmonton Oilers, so its existence wasn't all for naught. So fast forward to 2003 and a group of investors which had been aware of the potential of an NHL lockout in 2004 wanted to jump on the opportunity of starting a hockey league with the NHL out of commission. In order to get a little bit of a head start, these investors decided to use the goodwill that the name of the old WHA had carried, so they named their new hockey league the World Hockey Association where they also named Bobby Hull as the league's commissioner. As soon as the actuality of an NHL lockout occurring became more and more real, the new WHA had picked a date of June 2nd, 2004 to host their inaugural draft. The league also projected that it would carry franchises in North American cities Halifax, Detroit, Hamilton, Dallas, Miami, Toronto, Quebec City, and Vancouver with five of these teams actually getting names and potential logos. These franchises would have been the Detroit Gladiators, the Dallas Americans, the Toronto Toros, the Halifax Icebreakers, and the familiar sounding Quebec Nordics. Suffering from some financial obligations and such, the league pushed back its draft to July 18, 2004, where it was hosted at Niagara Falls in Ontario, with then prospect Sidney Crosby being the first overall pick for the Toronto Toros. Crosby ended up turning down the offer to play for the WHA though. But by September of 2004, the WHA had pushed back its debut to November from October, and it also lost half of its teams in that time, with the league pulling the plug on the Quebec City franchise, the Toronto franchise being unable to find an arena and being forced to drop out, and the Dallas team had to go through some financial restructuring and faded away, while the Miami franchise couldn't stay in one location initially choosing Miami, then Jacksonville, and then Orlando, until it too faded away. By November, no play had started yet, and in the spring of 2005, the league announced its plans for the Bobby Hull Invitational Tournament, with a grand prize of $2 million and a start date of May 20th. That too was later dropped by the league without comment. With other similar plans being set and fading away, the rights to the WHA's name and logo were sold to new investors who planned on using it to create a junior league which they had slated for the 2007-2008 hockey season. Again, those plans were dropped without comment. Are you sensing a pattern here? Well, the inevitable death of the WHA officially came in 2008, where the WHA Junior West Hockey League, which was being operated in British Columbia from 2006 to 2008, faded away as well due to financial instability by the teams in the league. So as the WHA's website was taken down in late 2008, so too were the hopes of reviving a pro hockey competitor to the NHL. So it looks like goodwill can only get you so far in terms of professional status. I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one.